What we're doing here in the garage, along with throughout the uh, Barrier Island, is removing the old multi-space parking meters and installing these new meters, which have pretty much the same capabilities but have some major changes to them. The one main one right now is we're using what's called pay-by-plate parking rather than the old pay and display. There's a couple of major benefits to this. One of the big ones for the consumer is the fact that with the pay-by-plate technology, you can add time at any meter. They can walk up to any meter, put in their plate number, and add time to their parking session. So then that way, you don't have to worry so much about running back to your car before it, uh, the time expires and possibly getting a ticket. When you get to that machine, press any key on the keypad, the screen will light up automatically. It runs through the four steps that you need to do. One is enter your plate number. Two is select what you want to do, which is in this case purchase parking. The third is put in your payment, whatever you're going to use, whether it's a credit card or cash. And then, especially with a credit card, it will show you what time you're going to initially expire. Then all you have to do is follow the prompts to add more time. You can add as much time as you want. When you're done with it, you hit OK. It takes care of charging your card, and you don't have to go back to your car with a receipt. You can request a receipt, and the machine will happily print one, but there's no reason to go back to your car, put anything in your window. You can go from here right to the beach. The big issue that some people have with this is remembering their plate number. So what we always recommend is that you take a photo of it with your cell phone, and then when you get to the machine, you can just pull it right up and say, ah, my plate number is ABC123. The old machines have old technology. So in a lot of our uh, areas on the street, the multi-space meters don't work on the weekends. They won't take credit cards because they can't be processed. So in this particular case, we're updating all this so that it works all the time for our customers.